Hey, what's up? It's Fuel Your Life Friday. Let's go. Ah, Friday. We meet again. And now that we're one month into the new year, I thought it might be time to spark some new ideas when it comes to leveling up your life. These aren't actually really new per se, but they may be new to you. I'm going to outline five life challenges for you. If you head over to mindbizlife.com after the episode and click on this week's episode notes, you'll see direct links to each challenge that I found. That way you can get the full scope of each if you want to participate. Number one, a writing challenge. I found writing to be incredibly therapeutic. I write nearly every single day, but I really aim to challenge myself. Most of the writing challenges that I have seen are a 30-day challenge. I did my own writing challenge last November where I used podcast guest Michael Dietrich Chastain's card deck. It's called Changes, and I would pull a card every day and then journal about that card. But there are an array of writing challenges to immerse yourself in. Maybe it's a daily gratitude challenge, or maybe you follow a 30-day challenge with a prompt attached. I do have 44 journal prompts for you to snag for free. I'll be sure to link that as well in this week's episode notes on mindbizlife.com. Number two, a self-care challenge. So the self-care challenge can really go in a few different directions. A 30-day meditation challenge for one, but also the one that I've linked in the show notes outlines a different task for each day. These are things such as do a social media purge, write down 10 things you love about yourself, create a good mood playlist, listen to an inspiring podcast. The list goes on. These are all pretty easy things, but when we do them with more mindfulness, it actually shifts the intention. Number three, a feng shui challenge. So I have discussed feng shui a time or two, okay, probably more like three or four times at least on the show, but that's because it has true energetic power. Feng shui expert and podcast guest Patricia Lohan has a seven-day feng shui home challenge that I have referred many people to. I'm referring it to you as well. I've done it myself, and it is powerful without being too overwhelming. Next up, number four, a fitness challenge. All right, now I'm doing one of these myself actively because I am not the best at keeping up to a physical exercise or routine. I find myself using 30-day challenges to focus on a certain area of my body. Right now I'm diving back into this booty challenge that I found to really focus on the gluteus maximus, but I also really like checking off the days as I complete it because it holds me accountable. There are tons of different fitness challenges you can find online. I like to search Pinterest and then save that image to my phone, pull it up every day as my reminder. And last, number five, a money challenge. Now I had to wrap up this episode with money because I know y'all love information to help you get your money right. And truth is, I do too. I actively work hard on my money mindset and also building wealth. A popular money challenge is the $500 and 30 days challenge. Now, with this, you save $2 a day, but you increase it by $2 daily. So on day one, $2, day two, $4, day three, $6, etc. By the end of 30 days, you then have $500 saved. And if that isn't your jam, then try out the 30-day no-spend challenge. You set the rules with this. Maybe it's 30 days of not spending money at all. Maybe it's 30 days of not spending money on non-essentials, or maybe you take 30 days and you only spend in one or two categories and eliminate the others, such as not going out to eat or clothes shopping, etc. Life challenges are seemingly easy, but when you begin them, you'll often find that it's just as easy, if not easier, to quit them. Persevere, my friends. We up-level and grow by stepping out of our comfort zones and leaning into what's not easy. Take up a challenge and let me know which one you try. I'm always hanging out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at MindBizLife. If you enjoyed today's episode, share with a friend and be sure to give the podcast a five-star rating and review on Apple Podcasts or wherever it is that you tune in and turn it up. I'll see you back here next week, but until then, remember... Every level of life is an opportunity to grow. Be well, my friend.